Hey guys and welcome back to another tasty blender tutorial. Yes, today I'll be showing you how to create this sort of circular motion for your camera. As always, there will be a free resource file available with this video. You can find it on my Gumroad in the link in the description. Make sure to like the video, comment under the video and subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot and I can make a bunch of these videos for you guys. In any case, let's get into the video. So I'm going to open up Blender 2.93 in my case. You can see all of the shortcuts in the bottom left corner. So I'm going to delete everything and I'll import a character that I've pre-made for this tutorial. Okay, so I've imported my character over here. I created him in DAS 3D, then exported it into an OBJ, added it to Mixamo, animated it with Mixamo, downloaded an FBX, and here it is. This is our little dancing dude. Now what we want to do is have a circular flyover going around him, and it's extremely easy to do, actually. So let me go to the first frame, and we're going to add a couple of things. First is going to be a curve circle let's scale this bad boy up Control a reset the scale i'm gonna go into front view by pressing numpad one add a camera and now i'm gonna pair this camera to this curve so i'm gonna go under my object constraint go under my follow path and with the eyedropper tool i'll just select the bezier circle like that now if i press play nothing is happening because we need to press animate path and now the camera is actually following our circle however it's not targeting the character, as you might have seen. We'll return to the beginning of the animation and we're going to add a track to constraint. I'm going to choose the eyedropper and choose our character. So now if I go into my camera view, you can see that it's actually following the character, but it's just focusing on his feet. And that's because if I choose my character, you can see that his point of origin is down there. So if I press shift control alt C, and do origin to geometry, now it's pointing up to his belly. But we don't really want that. We want a bit of more flexibility. So the way we do that is actually add a empty. And instead of focusing on the character, we can just focus on the empty. Now, when we want to move stuff, we choose just the empty and just the circle, press GZ and we can move it into position. I really want to focus on his mid area over here. So I'll also go under my camera settings, focal length, adjust it to 75 millimeters, and then just press play and focus on that little guy there. Now, if we want the camera movement to be way quicker, we just go under our Bezier curve and then choose the path animation and we can drop down the frames. But in this case, it's going to be very, very, very fast, meaning it's doing the whole circle in 50 frames. So the lower we go, the faster it's going to be. The higher we go, the slower it's going to be. So it all depends on your preference. In any case, yeah. So that's going to be it for this video. Very simple trick, very useful. If you want to join in on the fun, just join in on TikTok. Do, I don't know, a character. Maybe you have an object, something. Do the flyover, add it on, try it. It's a fun little challenge to do. And it's also actually pretty useful for any objects or models that you would like to present. As always, there's going to be a free resource file in the description below that you can follow to my Gumroad. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment if you enjoyed it, and also subscribe to the channel because it helps me out a lot. In any case, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.